The YouTube Creator Academy explains in their search and discovery ranking algorithm that videos are ranked based on a variety of factors including how well the title, description and video content matches the viewer's query. Beyond that, they say they look at which videos have driven the most engagement for a query and make sure it's easy for viewers to find those. To break that down a little, YouTube is simply asking you to use phrases that you think people will use when searching for the type of videos you are creating. So the bottom line is, keywords do matter. Matching search intent is critical for YouTube, but the key ingredient to effective YouTube video SEO is high engagement. Now here are three things YouTube is looking from you as a creator to rank your videos high on the search results. YouTube wants you to first optimize your video so that it will be easy for them to know where to rank your videos so viewers can easily find it. They also want your videos to be engaging so as to keep viewers on their platform for as long as possible. That's all because of the fact that the more video views they get, the more ads viewers will see and of course, you know the results of all that more money in the banks of you guess it right youtube when it comes to ranking your videos for more views whatever you do in the first 24 hours of posting your video on youtube counts in this video we'll be looking at the first critical thing that you need to do to help rank your videos on the youtube search results basically researching keywords that people will use when searching for your videos Hi there and welcome. If this is your first time to this channel, it's all about tips, strategies and tools that will help you make money as a YouTube affiliate solopreneur using just simple videos. So if you're interested in something like that, make sure to hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Search intent on YouTube simply means the reason behind why people make a particular search on YouTube. In other words, why did a person make a particular search? Do they want to learn something? Are they looking for more information to make a purchase or are they just looking for a particular channel or video? So why does all this search intent matters for YouTube? Well, YouTube's aim is to provide their users with the most relevant results for their search. So if you want to make a video, for example, about say a wireless headphone under $50, you obviously need to optimize your video with that phrase wireless headphone under $50 in your video title, your video descriptions and tags, as well as using related phrases. That way YouTube will easily know your video is related to wireless headphones under $50. If you are not targeting keywords that people are searching for on YouTube, then of course you are likely not going to get search results as a small YouTube channel. To make this whole process of keyword research even worse, unlike the traditional keyword research that Google provides, YouTube doesn't have an official keyword research tool. Now as a solution to that problem, a lot of third party tools stepped in to cover the void. Now, before we get into some of those tools, let's first look at how you can start searching for your C keyword on YouTube. To do that, you need to start typing in the main topic your video is going to be about. For example, if I want to make a video on, let's say the previous example, the wireless headphone, when I type that in on the search bar, as you can see, YouTube provide other suggested phrases that people are using to search for videos that have to do with wireless headphones. All you have to do next now is go through all these suggested phrases that are closely related to what you want to do in your video. In my case, I can decide to make a video on wireless headphone for sports under $50 or with no Bluetooth. You get the point. Now, the only problem using the YouTube toolbar sometimes is there are some hidden related phrases that will require you to go through all the alphabets to uncover them. As you can see, every time I type a letter, a new set of related phrases appear. If I add N, check this out, it gives me this other set of related phrases, phrases that I would not have thought about. For example, 
wireless noise counseling headphones for sports. I did not know something like that exists. This is an example of the type of phrases you should be using to optimize your videos because these type of phrases are easily overlooked by many creators. Most video creators will likely end up with the first few letters in the alphabet when doing their research. If I didn't go way down to N, I wouldn't have found this phrase, for example. So again, it's important to look for long tail keyword phrases to optimize your video around. Now to get all those hidden phrases all sorted out and placed in a simple copy and paste feature, you will need to use a third party keyword tool. TubeBuddy and VidIQ are good examples of third party tools that will help you find keywords that people use to search for videos on YouTube. TubeBuddy for example provides easy to access features that help you optimize your videos with the right related keywords and phrases that people are using to find the type of videos you are creating. For example, you can use the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer from the main TubeBuddy menu that appears on any page you visit on YouTube after installing the extension. You can conveniently use it to search for any keyword at any time. Also on your video tags area, which is one of the areas to add related keywords to make YouTube know what your video is about. TubeBuddy also makes things easy by adding these pop-up tag suggestions in real time as you type in your keywords. Let me now let you see how Andrew Khan from TubeBuddy shows you how to use the tool to find the best tags for your YouTube videos. Have you ever wanted to know which tags to add to your video? What about uncovering terms that people are searching for on YouTube? Or do you want to know the search volume and competitiveness of a keyword you're targeting? With TubeBuddy's Tag Explorer, we can tell you just that. There are a few ways to get to the Tag Explorer. You can get to it from the main TubeBuddy menu on YouTube. You can get to it from TubeBuddy's Video Lytics. You can get to it from the YouTube search. And finally, you can get to it from any video you are editing on YouTube. First, you need to type in a tag to explore. For today's video, we are going to be looking at YouTube TV. At the time of this video, it was recently announced and will be a great example. After submitting a tag to explore, you'll see six tabs of information appear. Summary, which shows the most used tags from top ranking videos on this subject. It also shows top ranking videos in search and also gives that a keyword score. For YouTube TV, we can see it has an overall score of 40 out of 100 or very bad because it has a lot of competition. Meaning, a lot of people are making videos about this term and it will be hard for a video to stand out. The next tab is the trending tab, which shows rising queries on the left and related queries on the right. You can click the pop out icon on any term and it will open a search in a new tab for the phrases you selected. If you click on the search term itself, it will now explore that term instead. At the bottom of the explorer, there is a recent section where you can see recent tags that have been explored and you can easily switch back to any of them as you wish. Continuing forward, the next tab is auto-suggested, and for this we are going to be using YouTube TV again. This shows what both YouTube and Google search recommend when it comes to tag suggestions to help your videos. This generates long-tail descriptive keywords which can help your videos do better in both YouTube and Google search results. Because these are terms that people are actually searching for on both YouTube and Google. The next tab is the historical tab. This shows you how the search has performed over its life and will help you find out if the term is getting more or less traction. This tab, along with the trends and maps tabs, get all of their information directly from the Google Trends website. The map tab is next, and it shows you in what countries the term is searched more often relative to other terms. The final tab will show you the top results for that specific term on YouTube. Get optimization ideas by examining what thumbnails and titles the top ranking videos are using. Utilizing Tag Explorer can help you find new descriptive long form keywords that can help grow and optimize your channel. We want to know, have you been using Tag Explorer? What features would you like to see added to it? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Andrew Can, and thank you all so much for watching. Now, just like the TubeBuddy tool, when you make a search on YouTube, the VidIQ tool will display a lot of great information regarding the keywords of a particular term. This will all include things like average views and average subscribers. The VidIQ tool, just like the TubeBuddy tool, also has many other features that will help you manage your videos. 
For example, showing your competitor's subscribers numbers displayed on the search results of a targeted key phrase. Now, personally, it really doesn't matter which tool you decide to use. Both tools are good. What really matters is that you are using the tool as a means to get words that people are using to search for videos on YouTube. Now, both tools have a free version that I would personally recommend you to start with simply because even with the free version, it's still very valuable. Make sure to check both tools out. If it's something that you would like to keep using, then fine. If not, you can simply uninstall it from your browser and you're good to go. I'll drop the links to both tools in the description box below this video. So all in all, that's what it takes to find keywords to optimize your videos. Now in the second part in this video series, we'll take a look at the key ingredient of effective YouTube video SEO, which is high engagement. And with all that, I'll call this video a wrap. I hope you found some value in it. If so, hit the like button below, share on your preferred social site, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a similar helpful video.